A new start line, a familiar finish line. Oakley Stage 2 kicking off in Brighton for the very first time. The gun going, their destination Victor Harbour being visited for a stage finish for the 15th time in the history of the race. The locals out in big numbers to see the ochre jersey on the shoulders of the Italian from EF Education, Alberto Bettiol. His squad around him for support paying close attention to any of the early breakaways. The flag dropping by race director Stuart O'Grady. No immediate attacks from the peloton as they headed towards the first of the intermediate sprints. It was Michael Matthews seeing if he could claim more time bonuses in the race for the general classification. He ended up in second place. Bristenia was the winner. It was Hugo Page, in fact, in second position. In a photo finish, Michael Matthews third one second closer to the ochre jersey of Betiol. As they made their way along the coast, the wind sprung up and the echelons formed. Most of the big favourites finding their way into the front of the race. It settled down once again and then two riders broke away from the peloton. Johan Jacobs from the Movistar team along with Manuelo Bororo of Astana. Then to the next sprint and it was Corbin Strong who got the maximum points and the maximum time bonus. Michael Matthews again showing his sprinting prowess. Second place, another two second bonus but Betiolt in the fight to hold on to the Oka jersey in third position. Across the first of the King of the Mountains, and it was the Italian Manuela Borado of the Astana squad picking up the maximum points. Behind, Alessandro Covey getting five points. Luke Platt, the overnight leader in the race for the King of the Mountains classification, was the next best. Then at the base of the final climb, with a little over 20 kilometres remaining, disaster struck for Michael Matthews, a bike change and a chase. As he was off the back after a mechanical problem that was instigated by a touch of wheels amongst others within the race, it was Jay Vine taking the peloton to task. Vine charging over the top of the climb. Yates in second position, followed by Rowan Dennis, Jai Hindley, and then Mauro Schmid opening up a gap of 30 seconds on the peloton. Problems for Betiol. These ones, not mechanical. These ones, physical. And he wasn't happy with the attention that he was getting from the side of the road. The breakaway survived. The local hero, Rowan Dennis, opened up his sprint early and it paid dividends. Dennis got the job done in Victor Harbour, winning the stage. It was then Jay Vine in second position. For Dennis, the stage victory, the time bonus and the small gap, giving him the overall race lead. Celebration from Rowan Dennis, a gap then to Jay Vine, Smid, Yates, Henley, the best of the rest. The peloton was led home by Caleb Buen. Stage victory, race lead, it's Rowan Dennis at the top of the overall standings.